to God. Everyone, let's just join and bless the name of the Lord. How great thou art, our God. You are great. You are awesome. Oh, you are wonderful. You are marvelous. You are great. Just give him thanks. Give our God praise. Give him praise. Give him thanks. Give him all the glory, all the honor. Oh, praise be to you, our God. We thank you. We give you praise. Oh, we exalt you. We magnify you. Thank you, almighty God, for making it possible for us to gather here today again to pray. Thank you, Lord, for the grace, for the strength you have given us. Oh, Lord, we're so excited that we, are, we can come into your presence. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you for the redemption you have obtained for us. Thank you. Thank you for your name you have given to us. We receive everything whatsoever we ask in your name. To you be all glory, our Lord and our God. To you be all glory, Lord Jesus. Thank you, our Father in heaven. Be thou exalted, O God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters, welcome to day two of this intense prayer program. I believe you have been following the prayer on WhatsApp and the Bible as, uh, portions that we have been sharing and you have been praying along. So we want to go straight into the meeting today and let us pray. In Jesus' mighty name, our Heavenly Father, we hand over this meeting to you. And we ask, Lord God Almighty, that you will take all glory, all preeminence in this meeting. We ask, Lord, that you continue to pour out your spirit upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, we ask that you help us, teach us how to pray. Let us pray according to the will of God. And let all glory be to God, and let the answers come, and the blessings be our portion. And in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Brothers and sisters, our church remains be an intercessor. Amen. Be an intercessor as we uh, received that church yesterday. Well, let's start very quickly by just looking and uh, reminding ourselves of the basics of prayer. Remember, we've shared on this a number of times. Let's remind ourselves, because today we don't want to struggle as we pray. We want to pray and know that indeed, by the Spirit of God, we have prayed as Jesus taught us how to pray, and as the Spirit of God is helping us to pray, and therefore, by faith, we receive everything we have prayed for in Jesus' mighty name. So, just reminding us again, or reminding ourselves, basics of prayer. Prayer, what is prayer? Prayer is simply the act of asking God to meet our needs. The act of asking God to meet our needs. You see, he who prays brings God to his side. He who prays, she who prays, brings God to his side. So I repeat that again, and we should make this thing very simple. Prayer is simply the act of asking God to meet our needs. So these needs could be personal or for others. I'm making prayers that request. And when it is for others, we are doing intercession, intercession. So prayer is the way God has provided for man to partner with him to bring his hand into any matter. Let's remember this is God who instituted prayer. Is that simple? And you see, God just wants simple obedience. Just do what God says. So it is God who instituted prayer as a means of man, us, bringing him 
to partner with us to bring his hand into any matter. So when the, the person who calls God into his matter has God in his matter. The one who doesn't call God keeps God away. Praise the name of the Lord. Particularly for those whom God has called his children. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ demonstrated this to us. In Luke chapter 2, Luke chapter 2, Jesus said, The harvest is truly great, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send in laborers, send out laborers to his harvest. The harvest is God's own. Yet Jesus said we should pray that God will send laborers out into his harvest. And Jesus himself demonstrated this while he was here on earth. He continually prayed. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, or Luke eleven two. 2, he, he prayed, taught us that the Lord's prayer. Matthew 26, 39 through 46, you would see at Gethsemane, Jesus prayed. And uh, one of the versions of that account says that the sweat that was dropping from his body was as thick as blood. And so, beloved brothers and sisters, children of God, the basics of prayer requires that we know that we must see ourselves as a son or as an intercessor. So you come to God as a son of God, and in fact, not all. You come to God as a son or daughter of God, and as well as an intercessor. That's why I keep challenging us, say, be an intercessor. So as a son or daughter of God, you ask your father straight what you want, and you have the right to stand in the gap for others. Number two, it is the Holy Spirit who helps us to pray. Number three, ask your Father, our God, anything in the name of Jesus. Number four, when you ask, know that your Father hears you. So ask by faith. Ask by faith. No, number five, know that the Father is faithful to his word, and he will do whatever he has asked us to do. The Bible says, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. That was Jesus saying, and he also said, anything we ask the Father, the Father will do it. So let this be our position today, that we have come as a son or daughter of God, and we are intercessors. Glory be to God. Not many, everybody can boldly come and say, I am a son, I am a daughter. So if you have not given your life to Jesus, please, Right now, go ahead, tell him, I repent, I give my life to you. So you can become a son and a daughter like the rest of us, so we can go and act. So let's go now to Acts. We want to start by looking at that intercessor right. A son has the right to intercede. So open your Bible with me to Ezekiel chapter 22. Ezekiel chapter 22. Oh, come as an intercessor. Let's read verses 30 and 31. The power of an intercessor. God himself here was the one lamenting that he didn't find intercessors to stand in the gap to block <laughs> To help him, to help him relent from pouring out his wrath. Are you there? Please read it with me. Read Ezekiel chapter 30, uh, 22, verses 30 and 31. I will read. So I sought for a man among them who would make a wall, that who will repair the wall, who will make a wall and stand in the gap before me and before on behalf of the land, that I should not destroy it, but I found no one. Did you see that? Therefore, I have poured out my indignation on them, 
I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath, and I have recompensed their deeds on their own heads, says the Lord God. God is continually seeking for an intercessor, continually. So that Ezekiel chapter 22, verses 30 and 31, God said, I sought for a man to stand in the gap. That's the duty of an intercessor. I sought for a man. If you're ready to stand in the gap, no evil will befall you. No evil will befall your family in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Oh, glory be to God. So, we want to summarize our prayer topics because once we enter the prayer, we just pray so, a marathon. Be an intercessor. Be one who pleads for mercy. So an intercessor has two main parts. Like yesterday, we looked at intercessor, the one who pleads for mercy. Intercessor has broadly two main aspects as an intercessor, your duty, my duty, our duty is to plead for mercy for another. We plead for mercy for another. Oh yes, we plead for mercy on behalf of another. But more importantly, more potently, which is the one I like, is that an intercessor also stop evil and oppression you stop evil and oppression. An intercessor stops evil and oppression. As we've seen here in this Ezekiel chapter 22, there God said, I sought for a man to stand on behalf of the land, to stand in the gap on behalf of the land, that I should not destroy it, but I found no one. That it 31, he said, therefore, I poured out my indignation on them. The other person that stood as an intercessor was Moses that we saw. But Moses also, God used him to stop evil and oppression. And that's our focus today. And so let's summarize our prayer points. We've been sharing prayer points during the whole day. In the morning, we shared the prayer point which was restoration and recovery, restoration and recovery. And you know David stood out or stands out there. In the afternoon, we look at protection, deliverance, and healing. And in the evening, we look at divine substitution, divine substitution. This will be the headlines of our prayer as we go to pray together. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. As always, we start with thanksgiving. And I believe you have now taken time to look at your life in this year, 2021. Look at aspects that, you know, you have to really thank God. And of course, you should thank God for every aspect of your life. In all things, we give God thanks. However, there are areas that requires serious cry to God. Areas of failures, areas that we need a victory. The Almighty God will grant us victory in the mighty name of Jesus. I say the Almighty God will grant us victory in the mighty name of Jesus. And so let's open our mouth now and thank God. Tell him, Heavenly Father, I thank you for all your goodness and favors and protection and provisions and blessings to me and my family in the year 2021. Lord, I thank you. Go ahead and give God thanks. Give him thanks for all the blessings, all the provision, all the favors, all the goodness, all the mercies of God. Lord, I have seen your goodness. I've tasted of your goodness, of your mercy, of your favors, of your blessings in this year, 2021. 
I have tasted of your divine guidance, your divine direction. Lord, therefore, I thank you. I thank you on behalf of my wife. I thank you on behalf of my children. I thank you, Lord, for you have helped me in my career, in my ministry. You have helped me materially, physically, spiritually, socially, mentally. Lord, you have helped me. And for all this, Lord, I thank you. I return all glory, all praise to you. Lord, I thank you for the salvation of my soul. I thank you, you who have kept me, that I can still stand and call you my father. I can still stand and say, indeed, Jesus has redeemed me. By the blood of Jesus, I have been redeemed. I am the redeemed of the Lord for all these blessings, for all your goodness, for all your provisions, for all your kindness. Lord, I say thank you. Father, thank you. To you be all glory. To you be all honor. To you be all praise, all majesty. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I told you want to pray. You, you have read that prayer of... Um, or the story of David. You have read the story of David. First Samuel chapter 30, verses 1 through 19. Oh, it seemed as though David lost all. But David knew how to key into the restoration of the Lord. So lift up your voices with me. Now you're going to pray nonstop for five minutes. Say, Heavenly Father. My God, in the name of Jesus, I come to you, O God. Father, restore unto me whatever I have lost. Restore unto me whatever has been stolen from me. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray and say, Heavenly Father, help me to recover whatever has been taken from me. The good things that you have given to me, that has been taken from me, whatever it is, whether it was taken spiritually, physically, materially, socially, in character, in anything, in uh, talent and gift and business, whatever has been taken from me, oh God Almighty, help me to recover. Father, help recover all that I have lost. Help recover for me whatever has been taken from me in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray for yourself now. Go ahead and pray. Pray those specific things. In this year, 2021, Father God, whatever I have lost, whatever good thing I have lost, God Almighty, restore unto me, O God. Restore, my Father. Restore by your spirit. Restore by your power. Restore in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, whatever has been taken from me, whether spiritually, physically, materially, socially, position, whatever, in business, whatever has been taken from me, almighty God. Lord, help me to recover all. Help me to recover whatever has been taken from me. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, help my brothers, help my sisters, help every one of us, help my family, help my spouse, help my children, Lord God Almighty, to recover whatever has been lost, to rest, restore unto them, restore unto us all, whatever, Lord God Almighty, we have lost, in the mighty name of Jesus, every good thing that we have lost, Lord, we ask, restore unto us, restore unto us, in Jesus, mighty name, we are prayed, continue to pray, continue to pray, Mention those good things that you know, you know, is missing. Ask God, restore unto me. And part of the review you were supposed to make is so you can bring it here for prayer. Father God, restore unto us. Restore unto me. Restore unto my brothers and sisters. Whatever they have lost, whatever we have lost, whatever has been stolen from us, whatever has been taken from us, God, let us recover. Father, let us recover. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
Beloved, let's pray this one in agreement. Say, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, restore me by your spirit to wear and level that you expect me to be now. Father, restore me. You have a hope for me. You have a plan for me. You have a purpose for me. Heavenly Father, restore me. Restore us to the level, to the place, to the position, to the status that you expect us to be at this point in time, spiritually, physically, materially, in character, and in all ways. Father, restore me, restore my brothers and sisters, restore every one of us to that perfect state, that perfect level, that your perfect will that you have for us. Lord, restore us. Carry us by your almighty hand. Carry us by your outstretched hand, hand into your perfect will for our life. Let us not be less by any inch. Let us not be less by any standard. Father, by your spirit, quicken us and restore us. Restore us. Restore us. Restore us, oh God Almighty, to that perfect state, that perfect level, that position, that position, that place where you have prepared for us. For it is written, you prepare a table before us, even in the presence of our enemies. Lord, you anoint our heads with oil. God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, restore every one of us here. The one that is weak, oh God, supply strength. The one that has fallen, Father, revive. The one that has backslid, Lord God Almighty, restore, heal. Carry us all to the perfect state, that perfect will of God for our life. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray that prayers, uh, that prayer, brothers and sisters. Pray, 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 Father, carry us by your outstretched arm upon your eagle's wings to your perfect will for our lives. In the name of Jesus, quicken us by your Holy Spirit, O oh God, that Lord God Almighty, we will attain. We will reach the level, the place the, where you, you expect us to be spiritually, physically, materially, in character, and in all ways. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Open your mouth again and cry to him and say, Heavenly Father. Say, Heavenly Father. Carry me, O God Almighty by your outstretched hands, and let me reco recover all lost grounds, all lost grounds. Father, carry me by your outstretched arm, and let me recover all lost grounds, whatever grounds I have lost in this life. Lord, carry me. Let me be accelerated according to your will. The life I have to live or ought to live, the achievements, the things I ought to do to please you in this life, my Father and my God, whatever lost grounds there is in my life, in my fa family, Father, whatever lost grounds there is in my wife, whatever lost grounds there may be in my daughter, in my son, Father, whatever lost grounds there may be in my children, Father, God, carry me, accelerate us to recover every lost ground. Every lost ground, every lost ground, every lost ground, or all lost grounds help us to recover in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray the same for my brothers and sisters, everyone that is connected upon this platform. Father God, by your outstretched arm, upon your ego's wings, by your everlasting arm, carry us, oh God Almighty. Help us to recover all lost grounds. Help all our family members our spouses, our children, everyone connected here to recover all lost grounds. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Continue to pray and say, Heavenly Father, go before me in the remaining days of 2021 and deliver me from all forms of evil in the name of Jesus. This is prayer of protection, deliverance, and healing. We are entering into that second part. 
prayer of protection, deliverance, and healing. Pray again with me and say, Heavenly Father, go before me in the remaining days of 2021 and deliver me from all forms of evil in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, go before me, go before my wife, go before my children, go upon every, go into every second, every minute, every hour. Father, every day, every week remaining in the year 2021 and deliver me and deliver us in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Let's read the book of Esther again and remind ourselves so we'll be able to pray that prayer and connect well. Esther, let's look at chapter 3 from verse 7. So you see why we must always pray, Oh God, let the wickedness of the wicked cease and not function around our lives because some people are wicked. Verse 7. In the first month, which is the month Nisan, that in the in the 12th year of King Ahasuerus, they cast pure, they cast pure, that is Lot, before Haman to determine the day and the month until it fell on the 12th month, which is the month of Adar. In the month of Adar, they sat in the first month, the first month in January, and said, which month, which day will we carry out evil? against the Jews in Shusha and in the entire neighboring uh, communities, all the Jews. That was the evil that they planned. So we'll continue to pray. And we're going to cry that cry unto God again and say, Heavenly Father, pray with me. Heavenly Father, go before me in the remaining days of 2021 and deliver me from all forms of evil in Jesus' name. Now continue and say, Almighty God, please annul any date that has been fixed as evil day against me in Jesus' name. Father, annul every day. I mean, annul any day, any day. Whatever date has been fixed as evil day against me, against my wife, against my children, against anything that concerns me, Father God, annul it. Please and all that evil day. It shall come and it shall be my day of blessing. It shall come, it shall be your day of deliverance. It shall come and shall be a glorious day unto all of us, the children of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Pray again with me and say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, overturn all evil decree, all evil decree against me and my family. In the name of Jesus, Father God, overturn, overturn. And we join our voices together and we decree in the name of Jesus, every evil decree be overturned. Heavenly Father, overturn every evil decree against me, against my family, against my brothers, against my sisters. In this year, 2021, and all the days of our life, every evil decree, we overturn you in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, overturn all evil decrees, all evil decrees against us, all evil decrees in our nation, all evil decrees in our families, all evil decrees anywhere and in anything that concerns us, all evil decrees in our offices, all evil decrees in our neighborhood, we overturn them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, overturn all evil decrees that they issue against us. Father, overturn. Father, and all them. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We want to pray that prayer again and say, Heavenly Father, and all and overturn. Every evil decree released against me in the day, in the night, when I am asleep, when I am awake, when I don't know, when I am available. Father, all forms of evil decrees overrule, overturn. And all them, let them be useless, let them be powerless against me, against my family, against my brothers, against my sisters, 
as it is written, there is no enchantment. There is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. Father, so let it be in my life, in my family, in, my, in the life of my brothers and sisters, unto every one of us that is connected upon this meeting. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let's pray again and say, Heavenly Father, as Esther found favor before the king, let me and my family find your divine favors for the remaining days of 2021. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, whatever remains to come in my life, whatever blessing remains to come in my life in this year, 2021, let it be accelerated for me and my family in the name of Jesus. Father God, whatever blessings, whatever remains, whatever promotion, whatever upliftment, Lord, the lifter up of my head, lift me up, lift my family up, lift my brothers up, lift my sisters up, lift every one of us, everyone connected upon this platform now. Lord, whatever remains, whatever is still outstanding in this year, 2021, almighty God, we agree, accelerate it, accelerate it for us, accelerate it for us. Accelerate it for me. Accelerate it for my brothers and sisters. Accelerate it for our family. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Pray again and say, Heavenly Father, grant me and my family, my spouse, my children, and every one of us that have connected here, that, is, that has connected here, divine protection. Every one of us that is connected here, divine protection. Father God, make all movements and travels and outing safe for us in this year, 2021, in this season of celebration. Heavenly Father, grant me and my family and all of us who are connected here, divine protection. Father God, make all travels and outing safe in Jesus' name. Go ahead and pray. Father, Go before us. Every outing, every travel in this uh, Yuletide period, Lord, make it safe. Thank you, our Lord and our God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Let's continue pray with me and say, Heavenly Father, be a shield, run about us. Be a shield. Run about us, encompass us, Lord, like a shield, that we will not be affected by the plague of disease, diseases and sickness this season, in the name of Jesus. Father, be a shield round about us. Be a shield round about us. Shield us, wrap round us, cover us, and we cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. And we say, Heavenly Father, according to your word, in Psalm 91, verse 10, there shall no evil befall us, neither shall any plague come near our dwelling. Father, let us not be affected by the plague of disease, and sickness this season in the name of Jesus. Let no plague touch us. In Jesus' name we are praying. Now let's pray together and say, Heavenly Father, heal us from every form of sickness, infirmity, and disease. Father, heal us, every one of us, any member of our family that is sick at this time, Lord, we agree. Heal that person. Father, heal us from all forms of sickness, disease, infirmities, in Jesus' name. Let's extend that prayer one more time and pray with me and say, Heavenly Father, let your divine life in Christ Jesus manifest in me all around, body, soul, and spirit, spirit, soul, and body, in the name of Jesus, as it is written, this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his son. He that has the son has life. He that does not have the son of God does not have life. I have the son of God. We have the son of God. And therefore we have life. And so let the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus walk in me now. And let that law of the spirit of life Set me free from the law of sin and death. Every law of sin and death cease to operate, cease to function in my life 
and in my family, cease to operate, cease to function in the life of my brothers and sisters, everyone that is connected upon this platform now, connected upon this meeting, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, now we move into divine substitution prayer. Hallelujah. Divine substitution prayer. And I want us to look at that same book of Esther now. Esther. Let's read. And you know the story, but let's look at what happened in Esther chapter 8. The conclusion of it. Hallelujah. Esther chapter 8. We'll read 1 and 2. And then we'll just jump. And uh, Okay, let's read it together. On that day, King Ahasuerus gave Queen Esther the house of Haman the enemy of the Jews. And Mordecai came before the king, for Esther had told how he was related to her. So the king took off his signet ring, which he had taken from Haman and gave it to Mordecai. And Esther appointed Mordecai over the house of Haman. Mm. Mm. divine substitution. Beloved brothers and sisters, I think we'll just read the scriptures before we take the prayer, because this one mm, is strong. Divine substitution, whatever strong man, strong woman, strong power, strong spirit, does not want to recognize that you are the redeemed of the Lord, and therefore you have no part with the devil, and the devil has no part with you. And I'm not telling you theories, because the kind of things people go about doing, to just paint one picture for you, I was renovating my house, and uh, many of the people I brought to do renovation, one of them, in fact, at least two of them, one clearly I caught doing ritual things in the house that he came to renovate. And the other one was later caught. It's even on video. I don't want to uh, talk about that. I mean, uh, getting to the details that he used to carry things in like blood and be drinking and doing rituals. People, divine substitution. The almighty God will take honor over whoever is like Pharaoh and his army and their chariots and their horsemen in your life, in my life, and in our family, in the mighty name of Jesus. And so Mordecai, who built a gallows, a gallows for, sorry, Haman, who built gallows for Mordecai to be hung, became the one who hung on his gallows. If I, let me just jump to verse 7 and read that. 6. For how can I endure to see the evil that will come to my people? Or how can I endure to see the destruction of my countrymen? 7. Then King Hazero said to Queen Esther and Mordecai, The Jew indeed, uh, the Jew, indeed I have given Esther the house of Haman, and they have hanged him on the gallows because he tried to lay his hand on the Jews. On the Jews. I want us to go read Exodus again. Let's read Exodus quickly. Exodus chapter 14, verses 1 to 4. Now the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel that they turn and come before Pi 
Upper Hirot, between Migdol and the sea, opposite Baal Sivon. You shall come before it by the sea, for Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, they are bewildered by the land. The wilderness has closed them in. Then I will harden Pharaoh's heart so that he will pursue them, and I will gain honor over Pharaoh and over all his army, that the Egyptians may know that I am the Lord. And they did so. Raise your voice with me and cry to God and say, Almighty God, take honor over every form of Pharaoh and their chariots and their horsemen in my life and in my family. Father, take honor over whoever is the strong man, is the strong woman, is like Pharaoh in my life and in my family that does not want to let me serve you in peace and do your will. Father, take honor that they may know that you are God in my life. Go ahead and pray that prayer, expand it, just keep repeating that. Father, God, take honor over whoever is like Pharaoh in my life. Take honor, O oh God, over them and their chariots and their horsemen. Take honor, Lord, that they may know that you are God in my life. You are the God, the almighty God in my life. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let me read again for you Luke chapter 11, in case you have forgotten, Luke chapter 11, verses 21 and 22. It was Jesus that spoke here. He said, when a strong man, fully armed, guards his own palace, his goods are in peace. 22. But when a stronger than he comes upon him and overcomes him, he takes from him all his armor in which he trusted and divides is spoiled. I believe we have enough scriptural grounds now to pray the kind of prayer I want us to pray. Go ahead with me now and pray. Say, Heavenly Father, please arise on my behalf in the remaining days of 2021 and fight all my battles in Jesus' name. Say, Heavenly Father, Whatever evil has followed me to this day in year 2021, ah, Lord, like you said to the children of Israel, these Egyptians you see today, you shall see no more. Almighty God, today, right now, right now, right now, this night, let me see some evil no more. Let me see some evil no more. Whoever constitute himself or herself, into a strong man, into a strong woman, into a strong power, into a strong spirit. Lord Jesus, you are the greater than he. Let me see them no more. Let me see them no more. Now, 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 Father, let me see the strong man no more. Let me see the strong woman no more. Let me see the strong spirit no more. Let me see the strong power no more. In my family, let me see them no more. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, but whatever you have not ordained for my peace, and whatever is hindering what you have ordained for my peace, let me see them no more. Let me see them no more. Let us see them no more. Let my brothers and sisters, everyone connected upon this platform, see those things that trouble their lives no more. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Pray with me again and say, Father God, my heavenly Father, I thank you for my redemption through the blood of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus, I have been redeemed. Therefore, no evil has any right over my life. I give myself to Jesus. I hide myself in the blood of Jesus. I hide myself in that rock of ages, Jesus Christ himself. Heavenly Father, Therefore, I ask, please, by that redemption blood, take honor over any strong man, strong woman, strong spirit, power, or anything still holding any ground in my life. Now, 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 let them go in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them go from my family in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Every power cease to walk, cease to function in my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my God. I have been delivered from the power of darkness. God has delivered me from the power of darkness. God has delivered my family from the power of darkness. God has delivered my children, my spouse, my wife, my children from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of the son of his law, the kingdom of life, the kingdom of light, the kingdom of peace, the kingdom of joy. This shall be our portion all through the year 2021 and for the rest of our life. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Lift up your voices again and pray. And say, Father God, let the evil fall into the pit they have dug. Father God, let them fall into their evil pits which they have dug. Like Pharaoh, Father, let them fall into the evil pits that they have dug. Like Pharaoh, let them and their agents and their weapons be drowned forever. Like heaven, let them hang on their own gallows, which they have prepared in the name of Jesus. Father, let there be divine substitution now. Let there be divine substitution. Whoever is looking for my head, looking for the head of my wife, looking for the head of my children. Father, let their own head go. Let their own head go. Let their own head go. Whatever is looking for your own head, looking for your own, the head of your spouse, the head of your children, their own head will go. In this year 2021, the Lord will protect you. The Lord will protect your family. The Lord will protect me. The Lord will protect my family as it is written. And shall no evil befall us. Neither shall any plague come near our dwelling. For God has given his angels and will give his angels charge over us. And by the blood of Jesus, we have been redeemed. We have been delivered. There shall no evil befall you. There shall no evil befall me. There shall no evil befall our family. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Pray this last one with me and say, Heavenly Father, like Mordecai and Esther, let your blessings overtake me and my family in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, help me to fulfill all your good purpose for my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray that prayer. And add your own prayer points now. Father, like Mordecai that was re restored, like Mordecai that recovered, that <clears throat> you lifted up. Father, like Esther, like the Jews that you saved, Almighty God, let all your blessings overtake me and my family. In the remaining days of year 2021 and all through, the year 2022, and all through my life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Help me to fulfill all your good purpose for my life, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Help my brothers, help my sisters, every one of us, to fulfill all your good purpose for our life. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Please take one minute and pray your additional prayer points, and we are going to agree, as we always do, your additional prayer points. Tomorrow, we're going to be focusing on the year 2022. So all these prayer points and the way we are prayed, assemble them that you may pray them for yourself. Don't sleep this night without praying again. And, of course, make that your practice every day. So go ahead and pray. Pray. 30 seconds more, ask your father. Ask your father. The remaining days of year 2021, they shall be your days of testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus, get up with strength. Be gathered with strength. Be gathered with strength. Don't relax. Don't relent. Continue. You will finish strong. You will finish strong. In the mighty name of Jesus.
You will fulfill God's will and purpose for your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's bring our prayer to a close as we agree. In Jesus' mighty name. You are free to open the line so I can hear your agreeing amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. amen. Heavenly amen. Father, we agree. Yes, Lord. According to your word, for you have said, if two of us shall agree concerning anything that we ask, you will do it for us. We agree, oh God, let all the prayer point we have raised to you most high be fulfilled for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We Amen. agree, Lord, that all the desires of these your children that have been brought before you, Father, let the answer come now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we agree that much more than what we have been able to ask, mm -hmm. let your Holy Spirit intercede mm -hmm. for us. And Lord yes. Jesus, our intercessor at the right hand of the Father, yes. intercede for us Amen. that all the will and purpose of God for our lives yes. will be fulfilled. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we agree that all the evil of year 2021 will end now. We shall Amen. see them no more. Amen. Like you drown Pharaoh and Amen. his army and yes. his chariots and yes. the horsemen in the yes. Red Sea. So we say, let all evil of year 2021 that we have experienced in our lives and families be Amen. drowned now. Amen. And we shall see them no more forever. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Thank you, our Lord and our God. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we pray that you give us the strength to continue tomorrow. Amen. For those of us who have decided to wait upon you with fasting and prayer, Lord, fill us with your spirit Amen. and give us strength to fast and pray. And Lord, we also pray for every one of us that you give everyone strength <laughs> and you encourage everyone to join. Lord, we Amen. ask that you go ahead of us. And Amen. prepare, oh God, the year 2022 for us that it shall be our year of divine blessing, abundant life like never before. We will fulfill all your will and your purpose for our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. This is where we will end, brothers and sisters, and we will just share the grace here. The Almighty God bless you. Let's share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet and fellowship, the fellowship of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Be with be me, with be with now, you, be with now. every one of us, now and forevermore, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 The goodness of God be with you. Amen. The blessings of God overtake you. The Almighty God lift up your heads above Amen all thine fellows in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. Bye bye. And we connect tomorrow 6pm. And please look out for the prayer guidance on the WhatsApp. Uh, if you're not on the WhatsApp, give your number, just drop your number here right now or let me know if you have my contact. Um, so we can add you to the WhatsApp. If you're joining uh, by Facebook, drop your number through Messenger so you keep it uh, uh, private to me and I'll pass it to the facilitator so your number will be added. God bless you and enjoy the rest of your evening in continuous fellowship by the Spirit of God. God bless you. Bye-bye.